welcome back friends this is dr mnal lectures don't forget to click the subscribe button and to click the bell then put your call for more updates to join our telegram group for discussions just click show more in the description then if you scroll down you see the links for the o level and the a level group welcome back students uh we have this session 29 in the advanced biology coordination and if you remember in the previous session we discussed with the rules of the synapse and we finished with the inhibitory synapse together with the neuromuscular junction so i hope if you follow my lectures i am dr mlelo and i'm going to facilitate this uh, session explaining about the functions of synapse so most of these functions we have already discussed them but here is just the explanation of how uh are they are they taking place in the synapse uh so first thing that we need to know is that uh, we have the delay of about 0.5 millisecond uh in the transmission of the nerve impulse across the synapse so this is actually disadvantageous because uh, if we have this uh, 0.5 delay uh 0.5 millisecond delay that means uh we can delay even uh responding to different stimulus and delay in the responding uh to the stimulus can lead to uh different effects to the body so actually uh the delay to the transmission of the nerve impulse uh actually the delay to the transmission of the nerve impulse uh i can't say that it is it is good it is bad so since synapse have the effect of slowing down nerve impulse by about 0.5 millisecond per synapse it can be assumed that the advantage outweigh this disadvantage so what are the advantages now advantages these are just some of the advantages of uh, having synapses uh the first thing is uh, unidirectionality or sometimes they say that they allow the nerve impulse to to be transmitted in a single direction chemical synapse they allow the nerve impulse to be transmitted only in the single direction why because the neurotransmitters they are released only at the presynaptic membrane and the receptor molecule they are present only at the postsynaptic membrane ko ata neurotransmitters zikirudi bila kugusa receptor bado haziwezi ka zikaja kuwa attach tena kwenye presynaptic membrane kiwango cha kusema zi generate new impulse nyingine zi ianze kurudi so the release of transmitter substance at the presynaptic membrane and the location of the receptor site on the postsynaptic membrane ensure that nerve impulse can pass only in one direction along given path only in one direction this given a precision to the nervous system allowing nerve impulse to reach particular destination kwa hiyo bila hiyo manake nerve impulse ingekuwa inaweza maybe to go somewhere and then it can't reach where it goes then it is start going back lakini the second thing is amplification amplification uh, kama na farm ku amplify ni kama kukifanya kitu kikubwa now amplification we are saying that sufficient acetylcholine is released at neuromuscular junction by each nerve impulse to exert a post synaptic membrane to produce a response in the muscle fiber thus nerve impulse arriving at neuromuscular junction however weak are adequate to produce a response from the effector thereby increasing the sensitivity of the system kwa hiyo ni kwamba nerve impulse inaenda kwenye muscles hata kama ikawa weak bado inakuwa na uwezo kusababisha muscle contraction why can it uh, cause muscle contraction even if it is weak it is because of amplification that means the neuromuscular junction tend to amplify the impulse impulse ambayo iliingia kama ndogo inakuwa amplified inaonekana kama kubwa and then it causes muscle contraction uh, and then from there we have the adaptation and the fatigue adaptation and the fatigue adaptation ni ile hali ambayo inatokea and up to apply the intense stimuli uh, to the neuron application of the intense stimuli it a release of neurotransmitter from the presynaptic nerve 
na kisha release neurotransmitter kama zile neurotransmitter zote zikaisha alafu zile neurotransmitter zilizoenda kwenye post synaptic uh, neuron has uh, diffused back manake tutakuwa hatuna tena neurotransmitter kwa impasse inaendelea kuja lakini we don't have neurotransmitter in the presynaptic no so what will happen now if we don't have the neurotransmitter in the presynaptic no and then the impasse is still released uh, i mean the impasse is still coming ko kutakuwa no release of neurotransmitter and if there is no release of neurotransmitter that means no generation of the nerve impasse in the postsynaptic membrane ko ile generation ya nerve impasse sipotokea manake ni kwamba impasse imekuja lakini ilikuwa intense imefanya the presynaptic uh, nerve to become exact exalted you see neurotransmitter so at the end of the day manake impasse itakuwa endelea kubwa itakuwa haiwi sensed um, mfano rahisi wa adaptation ni kama vile umekaa kwenye let's say labda umekaa kwenye uh, tufanye tu mfano ni kwamba kama vile umekaa labda mahali ambapo kuna mashine ya kusaga inapiga kelele piga kelele kali kwa utakuta mwanzoni ulivyokuwa unafika pale kelele zetu nazisikia sana lakini later as time goes unakuta kama kelele hauzisikii that is because uh, your neurons has undergone adaptation na ile hali ya uh, neurotransmitter kuisha kwenye presynaptic neuron ndio kitu tunachokita fatigue fatigue ndio kama vile ni kama vile neuron zimechoka fatigue lakini actually sio kwamba zimechoka actually it's because the neurotransmitter they have been exhausted so pia tukiingia if you enter in the room and then you hear the uh, the clock uh, the and then you hear the hour of the clock ta 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 after some of the minutes utaweza kukuta kwamba kama sauti ile huisikii tena that is because of adaptation of neurons so the amount of transmitter substance the amount of sub- transmitter substance released the by a synapse uh, steadily falls off if the response to a constant stimulation until the supply of transmitter substance is exhausted and the synapse is described as fatigued that means uh, it is exhausted with the transmitter substance kwa hiyo hiyo ni kwamba tutakao tuna release uh, transmitter substance uh, na kwa sababu kuna koko na steady stimulation of the synapse au steady stimulation of the presynaptic nerve that means we we'll leave the transmitter substance then at the end of the day the transmitter substance will will be finished so we'll reach the state at which the uh, transmitter substance they exhausted na hiyo ndio naita kwamba the neurons they are said to be or the synapses they, they are said to be fatigued so further passage of information along this path is not possible until after a period of recovery so your period of recovery manake ni mpaka ile neurotransmitter irudi iwe packed tena again in the vesicles bila hivyo manake uh bila hivyo manake transmission ya nerve impasse inakuwa ina inakuwa inhibited hapo so the significance of fatigue is that it prevent the merge of the effector through over stimulation significant of fatigue uh, it prevent the merge of effector through over stimulation adaptation also occurs at the level of receptors and this can be discussed later so we discuss later about how adaptation at the property of receptor ko manake kama tungekuwa tuna fatigue kama neurotransmitters zingekuwa ziwe exhausted manake tungeona kutoka kwamba tuna tunafanya effect labor kama maso awe over stimulated na angekuwa damaged ange contract sana ange damage lakini kwa sababu tuna fatigue manake Uh, a certain time should take place and then uh, the release of neurotransmitter substance can continue and even the the release of neurotransmitter substance can continue and even the so the release of neurotransmitter substance can continue and even the the muscle or the effect organ can can be damaged uh function nne ni integration convergence and spatial summation integration convergence and spatial summation uh tunavoziangalia hizi vitu vitatu ni kama uh, 
they are just in correlating to each other na ndio maana tumezeka kwenye single point uh, integration integration kama ambavyo wengi mnaweza kusoma kwenye bam au kokote kule lakini i know mostly ni kwenye bam integration ni ile namna ambayo you are combining many things you are integrating them so normally in integration uh, we are just adding up the sum maybe of some of the numbers from this number to that number that is what you call as integration convergence ni ile hali ambayo uh, nevu impasse labda zilikuwa tano zeni zinaungana zile nevu impasse kuungana huko zina maana kwamba nevu impasse tano zinaenda kulilizi nyo transmitter kwenye a single neuron i mean five neuron they release uh, impasse au zina release nyo transmitter kwenye a single post synaptic neuron that is convergence because they have been converged five neuron kwa level fulani utaenda kuikuta only a single neuron in the next level and again ile single neuron kwa next level zinaweza zikawa tano zika combine nazo zikaenda kutengeneza tena only a single neuron in the next level kuna kitu labda kwenye a certain level tuna neuron tatu baada ya zimecombine zimeenda kutengeneza neuron moja neuron yule mmoja na wenzake wanaweza kukombine na kutengeneza neuron moja that is what you call as convergence so actually the neurons they don't combine but what i mean is that uh, one neuron leads uh, the neurotransmitter i mean three neurons leads your transmitter to one neuron post synaptic neuron or three neurons leads the neurotransmitter to a single post synaptic membrane and that was that is what you call the spatial summation as we discussed earlier so a post synaptic neuron may receive impulse from a large number of excitatory or inhibitory presynaptic neurons this is known as convergence to receive impulse from large number large number large starts from 2 ko ni kwanza 3 4 that is what you call as convergence and the postsynaptic neuron is able to summit that means the impulse from a large number of neurons presynaptic neurons is been summated tunajumlisha and that is what we call the the spatial summation kama ambavyo tume discuss is able to summit the stimulus from all presynaptic neuron kama ambavyo tumeona kwenye above diagram this is called spatial summation enable the synapse to act as the center for integration center for integration of that stimulus the center for integration means the center for summation the center for adding up ko synapse inakuwa kama ndio sehemu ambayo tuna tunajumlishia hizo nini impulse from variety sources and the production of coordinated response so it is very important kwa sababu uh, kama tusinge kuwa nayo synapse maana yake tungeshindwa kufanya hiyo uh, lulu ya tano ni facilitation lulu ya tano ni facilitation na in the case of facilitation natukeleza ni kwamba this occurs at some synapses and involve each stimulus leaving the synapse more responsive to the next uh, stimulus so ni kwamba the sensitivity of the synapse has therefore been increased and the subsequent weaker stimulus may cause a response facilitation is not is not temporal summation in that it is a chemically controlled response of postsynaptic membrane and not an electrical summation of post membrane potential so facilitation sio kujumlisha it is not summation ya potential no kwa sababu kwenye kwenye summation tumekwambia kwamba the excitatory postsynaptic potential they tend to summate themselves because the excitatory postsynaptic potential uh, they are weaker but longer lasting so when they are lasting longer uh, they staying there and they can add up themselves but facilitation is a chemically controlled response of post synaptic membrane kwamba impasse kishapita ile membrane inakuwa imebakia kwenye hali fulani hivi kama excited and then the coming stimulus hata kama ikawa ni weaker the sensitivity of synapse has therefore been increased and subsequent weaker stimulus may cause a response kwa coming stimulus hata kama ikawa weaker ile synapse yenyewe ina facilitate so inafanya ile stimulus iweze kutengeneza response hata kama ilikuwa ni a weaker stimulus so that's what you call facilitation 
occurs at some synapse and involve each stimulus leaving the synapse more responsive to the next stimulus. Call even if above facilitation equal. Like any, the sixth function is discrimination, discrimination and temporal summation. Uh, discrimination ni kwamba synapse inakuwa na chagua. Impasse ambazo ni intense inapeleka, impasse ambazo ni, ni weak inazi cancel out. So synapse tend to cancel out the weak stimulus. And the temporal summation ni kama unavujua kwamba if the impasse is stronger means the successive uh, excitatory postsynaptic potential they will add up themselves. So the temporal summation at synapse enables weak background stimuli to be filtered out before they reach the brain before they reach the brain so weak stimulus manake ikifika kwenye postsynaptic uh, membrane hata kama yenyewe ni uh, longer lasting lakini kwa sababu it is weak means tutakuwa tuna successive kwa sababu kwenye temporal summation we need successive stimulation and successive i mean we need successive release of neurotransmitter and successive release of neurotransmitter inatokana nini na intense stimulation of the neuron kwa kama tuna weak stimulation of the neuron means impasse moja ikienda release of a neurotransmitter itachukua muda mrefu sana mpaka ku release tena and ile inavyochukua muda mrefu that means itasababisha at the end of the day ending up at the point ambapo uh, after the release of neurotransmitter utajikuta tu una una kotu na kamda mrefu ambapo ile excitatory postsynaptic potential inaweza kaisha that is what you call as discrimination so for example receptors in the skin the eyes and the ear receive constant stimulation from the environment which have little immediate importance for the nervous system such background noises uh, such as background noises only changes in the intensity of the stimulus are significantly to the nervous system these increase the frequency of stimuli and pass across the synapse to cause response na ndo mfano ambao ni kutolea kule mwanzoni kwamba ukiwa na mashine fulani inapiga kelele uh, pale mwanzoni kwamba ile mashine itakapokuwa inapiga kelele pale mwanzoni utakuwa unasikia lakini later you will not hear anything why you will not hear anything because ile itakuwa ni constant stimulation and that is that is what you call as background stimulus na ndo maana watu wengine wanasema mimi naweza kusoma hata kwenye kelele kwa nini kwa sababu gani zile kelele wanazopiga watu yeye anafanya kama vile ni nini ni background stimulus so nervous system yenyewe na uwezo ku ignore zile kelele na ikignore zile kelele manake background stimulus anakuwa zisiki labda mpaka mtu aki, akifanya noise kwa nguvu ile manake the change in the intensity of stimulus hiyo ndio itakayokuwa detected by the say, uh, by the neurons lakini otherwise pale yule mtu anaweza kaendelea ku study even in the noises that is discrimination and temporal summation so discrimination are uh, simply the cancellation of the a uh, weak stimulus ambazo zikuwa so important to the central nervous system and the seventh function is inhibition inhibition uh, the transmission of the information across the synapse and neuromuscular junction may be prevented at the synaptic membrane by the activity of certain neurotransmitters or drugs as described in the next session kabla ambapo nilikwambia kwamba kuna some of the neurotransmitters such as gaba uh, they can uh, inhibit the transmission of the nerve impulse and they are very important in the some of the systems such as uh, limbic system and if you i hope for your level hamwezi mkasoma limbic system but it is very important kwa sababu if this neurotransmitter they are not present they lead to many of the deformations or many of the disorders so uh presynaptic inhibition also possible it occurs at synaptic nodes that are closely contact with the synaptic knob from inhibitory synapses stimulation of these inhibitory synapses led to the number of synaptic vessels released by the uh inhibited synaptic knob this arrangement enables a given nerve terminal to produce a variable response depending on the activity of it is excitatory and inhibitory synapses so actually Ah uh, inhibition inawezekana ni presynaptic au postsynaptic but for your level unachotoka kuelewa tu ndio hicho the detailed mechanism and how are they are taking place actually for your level it's not such important for you to know um point ya mwisho ni synapses allow control for range of neurotransmitter in the brain this chemical control includes the complexity and subtleties of the control for behavior 
Uh, tutaenda kustudi kwenye next session about the categories of neurotransmitters. We have different neurotransmitters and these neurotransmitters they perform different functions in the brain and even in the body. So some of the neurotransmitters zinaweza ka affect behavior. Kwa mfano kumkuta mtu muda mwingi anakasirika au muda mwingi anacheka it is because of neurotransmitters. Uh, neurotransmitters such as serotonin and dopamine if I'm not mistaken they are affecting mood of a person mood of a person directly so because the uh, neurotransmitter they are listed at the synapse so actually we are saying that the uh, control of the synapse to lead the neurotransmitter actually goes to uh, affect the mood of a person or actually goes to affect the control of the behavior of that person so let I end up here I'm very sorry because this session uh, is very long as compared to other session but I would like to finish this session I would like to finish these functions of the synapse in this session and in the next session we'll be discussing about the categories of neurotransmitter uh, most of teachers they prefer asking the question in this part and most of the books they have been writing these function of the synapse for example understanding biology I've been writing them as five points uh, what I can say that actually the points in the understanding biology uh, they are easily uh, read and understood as compared to the point in the biological science but most of teachers they can ask you to uh, explain the seven rules of synapse now if you know, you know only about the five rules right in the understanding biology uh, it will be very difficult for you to pass this question and to get more marks so it is very important just to uh, read these functions of, of synapse in fashion for are uh, eight points so it will be easier for you to understand and even to answer all your questions if you have any comment uh you have any suggestion don't forget to join my telegram group uh you have the link in the description below and then the telegram group you'll be able to ask different questions and we'll be having uh, different discussions uh in biology chemistry mathematics and physics and it will be very easier for you to learn and to meet with the students uh, asking different questions on biology, physics, chemistry, and mathematics. So thank you everybody. Let me wish you nice studies. Don't forget to subscribe and to share the link for this video. Thank you.